The Beyblade Stadium is one of the most important aspects of the game as the stadium is the main area used to perform Beyblade battles. Throughout the generations the Beyblade Stadium has kept the same shape, until Beyblade X where TT introduced the Extreme Rail. The new Extreme Rail completely changed the Beyblade game as it introduced many different strategies never seen before and is just a genius design. In this video I will be going to analyze the Beyblade X Stadium and give reasons why I think this stadium design is genius. I will also talk about the three-player Beyblade X Stadium and the new-to-release Double Extreme Stadium. The standard Extreme Stadium is a very large stadium and is comparable to the DB Stadium from Beyblade Burst. There are three pockets in the stadium. Two pockets on the corners are the overzone and players will receive two points when a Beyblade stops spinning in those zones. The large one at the center is the extreme zone, where players will receive three points when a Beyblade is knocked inside that zone. This point system is very rewarding to attack type combos, which is why attack types are frequently used in competitive Beyblade battles. Compared to previous generations, it was very stamina dominant and this new point system balances the archetypes. Now stamina combos are still prevalent in Beyblade X as seen in Wizard Rod, but attack types have a fighting chance when using the extreme line. Speaking of the extreme line, this new feature is the main aspect of Beyblade X as it's used to speed up the Beyblade and create action-packed battles. When taking advantage of the extreme line bladers can utilize the gained speed and smash into its opponents for a chance of extreme finish. One more thing to mention is the way left spin Beyblade interact with the stadium. With the way the extreme line is shaped left spin Beyblades ride the rail in the opposite direction always smashing into right spin Beyblades. This creates crazy battles between the different directions. Going into some techniques to use in the Beyblade X Stadium, the first one I will discuss is the Reverse X Dash. This launch style allows a right spinning Beyblade to ride the opposite direction of the extreme line avoiding its opponents. This launch is primarily used for stamina type Beyblades to avoid attackers and is best done when in the right side of the stadium. Another launch is the Direct Extreme Dash. This launch is when you try to use the extreme line immediately to knock out your opponent. This launch works when you are on the left side of the stadium and is used for attack type Beyblades. If you want in-depth tutorials on how to use these techniques, I recommend checking out 1234 Beyblade as they make amazing guides. I will also link the videos in the description below. To conclude my thoughts in the standard extreme stadium, I absolutely love the way TT designed the stadium to incorporate a wide range of skill-based attacks. For Hasbro, the Beyblade X Stadium was also released, but modified to fit in the American shelving standards. The Hasbro X Stadium is the most accurate Hasbro Stadium we ever got as normally the Hasbro Stadiums are very different compared to TT. The Extreme Stadium is smaller compared to the TT but still keeps the extreme rail or what they call it the accelerator rail. One advantage to the Hasbro Stadium is that the it's harder to come back from the over zones, as in the TT Stadium it's easy to come back from a knockout. Another Hasbro Stadium is the Bucket Stadium, a cheap alternative to the main stadium. The Bucket Stadium is one molded piece that has the extreme line integrated into it. However, the extreme line is a lot less effective as many bays skip over the gears. The next stadium I will talk about is the three-player extreme stadium. This stadium was created for larger Beyblade tournaments to get rid of a lot of players early. The three-player stadium is a lot larger and reverses the extreme zone and over zones, so that the larger pocket is actually the over zone and the two smaller ones are the extreme zones. This stadium looks very fun to play with many friends and is an overall good idea for its purpose. The final stadium is the Double Extreme Stadium that will be released in October of this year. The Double Extreme Stadium is a motorized stadium that features a plate at the center punching up and down revealing another extreme line. The Beyblades would gain lots of speed when in contact with the center extreme line to then use against its opponents. 
The new stadium looks to be very fun and can create some interesting battles, and I am excited to see all the interactions. The Beyblade X Stadium design brings an innovative twist to the game, with its extreme rail system fundamentally altering how battles are fought. The introduction of new strategies, like utilizing the extreme line for attack combos and the point system rewarding aggressive play, has created a more balanced environment compared to previous generations. The interaction between left spin and right spin Beyblades, especially on the extreme line, Comment down below what you like about the Beyblade X Stadium. It would be appreciated to like and subscribe as I hope to reach 5k subs by the end of the year. I also have membership options for more support, and I will see you all next time.